Hey, you, Gonzalez. Since you didn't want that cake, I ate it. What? Best cake I ever had, man. Sprinkles frost in the works. You're an idiot. I went to go save the stinking game because I finished the recording and you ate my stinking cake? You're in for a world! Not only that, but you're the one responsible for me losing against the stinking armored harriers! <laughs> this guy is a stinking jerk! Oh, how dare you even have the same enemy class as King K and Koops and all the other Koopas that are a million times better than this jerkwad. Ugh. Listen up, buddy. I know some people. You'll be meeting them soon. You got that? Sleep with one eye open. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fix him for a fight, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank 5 in the Glitz Pit, the Magic Koopa Masters. Now listen here, son, this battle I want you to avoid using any of them flower points. What? Oh. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see you do some, without none of them fancy pants moves. Now get in there and show me something, son. Ugh. In all seriousness, I knew he ate the cake if you went to the next battle without eating it. I didn't know I couldn't just leave the stinking room without him eating it. Jeez. Ugh. Hey, it's me. You know the rest. Let's go. Probably should have switched to Gumbella, but whatever. That like is very glitchy in the background. I don't know why. For our next battle, we got our merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and... The Underworld Servants, yep, I'll fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters! Let me at him! Yeah, bring it! You ready for a beating? You fool, would you win to feel our dark magic? Yeah, whatever. Get yourselves ready to battle! None of them are just straight up blue Magic Koopas, so... Uh, don't use any FP, thankfully Tattle is free! Uh, swap to Goombella, Ella, Ella, Tattle them right now. Let's go and do that. That's a red magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in red. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Besides using offensive magic, it could also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, the wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell uh, which is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Yeah, it looks better in blue. So when it multiplies, it's not actually creating multiple enemies. It is uh, just making clones of itself and only one of them is real. Um, so I was like super guard the first one, but like when enemies are doing ranged attacks like this, I recommend just doing the regular guard because uh, you can't actually do damage to them if you super guard it, so there's no point in the extra challenge. But I like how the first one I did the super guard and I got it, and then the second two I did um, the regular guard and I failed it. So that's why I just stick with the thing in super guard. <sighs> Uh, can't use any FP, huh? Okay. Didn't say anything about SP, but we're not gonna use that. Uh, Gumbella, a Tattle, the White Magic Koopa now. Uh, I don't think there's any difference between, like, Brew Magic Koopas and non Brew Magic Koopas, so you don't have to worry about that. That's a White Magic Koopa, it's a Koopa Wizard dressed in white. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It's attack will, it, it attacks with magic and can replenish its allies HP, better hit it first, huh? Oh, and this also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all done. Which is totally lame, because then you can't tell the real deal from the copy. Okay, so they could all multiply and just do the little trick thing, okay. Extra defense, that's really nice, actually. Uh. Okay, Goombella just hang in there for a bit longer. Very nice, only three damage. Ouch. And that one just made itself invisible, so we know what that thing can do now. I'm surprised he didn't heal the red one right here. God! Ugh! Don't hit me with your stinging. <laughs> Everything's just going wrong in this thing in chapter. First, we're gone for a year. Who do I tell? There's nobody here. Oh, whatever. 
If you could, well, I guess it's just transparent. It's not invisible. It's just that we can't touch it. That's a green magic Koopa. It's Koopa Wizard just in green. Max should be seven, attack is four, defense is zero. It has magic attacks. It can also magically electrify enemies, allies, and make them invisible. Oh, this also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself. Okay, cool. Whatever. And raises its defense. God darn it. Ugh, this is annoying. Very good. Okay, switch to... Uh, if anyone can pierce the defense, it's Mario. Oh, I should have used the hammer because then it would have been all in one hit. Yeah, our hammer did get... Regular hammer did get powered up, so... We probably could have pierced its defense by just in the hammer. Everything's going wrong in this episode! And this chapter! And just started! Uh, whatever. Let's see what we got. Ay, I hate these things so stinking much. Oh, I hate you. Okay, you're you're back. Uh, use the regular hammer. It should pierce it at least one HP. Thank you. That's all we needed. And Yoshi, ground pound the heck out of this jerkwad. Birdie, 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 birdie. Guess we could say that instead of smacky, 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 smacky. Oh, we're gonna heal them. Whatever, 8 HP. I don't even have 8 HP, Wait, whatever. And they're electrified, so we can't touch them. We can use hammer, though. Can I hammer? You're not! Oh, you're in the way, so I can't. Ugh. I can't use any of FP. Uh, let's use an item. I actually never use items. Uh, let's use a shrimp fry on Mario. May I use an item and a let's play that wasn't the final boss? Reese's for breakfast! Oh boy. Did I say that I was gonna 100% the cookbook in this LP? I think I did. Oh boy. I'll go forward to that. Yoshi, do we have just a regular mushroom? Your name is stinking blue. God darn it. Uh, just defend, I guess. Ouch. And up next is... Ouchies! So much pain! I don't want to lose you again, Blue. Oh, what do we do? Uh, jump on this guy. I want to heal Blue, but I also just want to do damage. Let's go for it. Please don't regret this! Okay, what's up next? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. What? Oh, do not want that. Do not want that. God darn it. That's like the worst thing that could have happened. Help. Uh, time to challenge fate. Uh, going with this one. Of course not. I need to heal blue. Oh, uh, we got a shroom roast. The hot dog. I want to get rid of the hot dog. Actually, you know what? That's so stinking metal. This guy, Hoggle, was going to... Cook Yoshi up. Blue! Blue up into a stinking hot dog or an egg dog or whatever. And now he's stinking eating his kin as like revenge for like not being able to eat him and all that jazz. That's so stinking metal. So yeah, eat that wiener blue. Yeah, show that hoggle who's boss. Om nom nom. Delicious wienery goodness. Plus we can just get more of them if you want. Oh, please don't each get your own individual attacks! Uh, at least, uh, equally as powerful. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh, of course not. Uh, go for- Oh, I didn't mean to do that one, but whatever. Watch it be the right one. Oh, it is! Cool! Maybe Blue had a sixth sense or something, or the power of the wiener was able to decipher the true one. Ouch. God darn it. Magic Koopas are the stinking worst. They're annoying in Mario Bros. They're annoying in this game. Good riddance. Oh, double experience! Well, that makes it all worth it. The effect of the curse increased the star points. Very, very nice. 24 is also my name. 88 star points per hour. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! <laughs> How'd that floor taste? Mario! Hello! Whoa! Another fighter storming in, screaming his full, full head off about someone. Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? 
Word on the street was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville. And looky here. Talk about perfect timing. And now all these folks get to watch me myrtleize you. Don't turn me into a crummy Lilo and Stitch character. Okay, whatever. That was a crummy joke. Whoa, I am going to destroy you, and I have witnesses. So, Bowser is just like the Iron Adonis twins or the Armored Harriers or whatever the heck they want to call themselves. If you lose this fight, it does not affect your ranking, and it doesn't even get you a game over. Bowser just gloats about beating you, and then he leaves, which is really stinging funny. He doesn't take the Crystal Stars, he doesn't, like, ask you for peaches or take you hostage. He's just like, oh, cool, I beat Mario, <laughs> and then he leaves. It's really stinging funny, but we're not going to lose to him. Oh, I'm fine with losing to, like, one... Actually, no, I'm not fine to lose to them either, but, like, we're not going to lose to Bowser because I am prepared this time. That's Bowser, but what is he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus on your attention on beating him down, Mario. Okay, so he isn't spiked. According to Goombella, at least, he isn't spiked. So I should be able to jump on him just fine, but I guess we'll see. Uh, Blue could not do any damage to him, unless you, like, went out of your way to go back to... Rogue port and actually no not even that cuz I guess we'll get to that later But no blue cannot do any damage to Bowser. He can't gulp him because he's too big. I'm pretty sure and um, Yeah, the ground pound only does one damage. And he has a point of defense. So don't use blue Go ahead and use the power bounds. Hopefully this works uh, I shouldn't have been doing the power the cool stuff uh, multi bonk. Let's go Okay, that's very good. Oh god, 2 HP. Very, very bad. Uh, wait, sweet treat or shroom roast? We gotta use the shroom roast, that's too good. Okay, very good. And 5 extra FP, which is nice because we're still using Gumbella's multi bonk. Gumbella's super useful in this game, I sing and love her. Uh, let's go. A lot more cool than Goombario, that's for sure. Oof, well, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. I like that they use, like, the generic Bowser theme for... Can't use moves. Gray. Uh, I should probably switch you out then, Gumbella. Uh, Gumbella, can I switch to... Does that do anything even? I don't, I don't even know. Uh, you're gonna be a meat shield, Blue. Uh, let's go to Power Bounce. Yeah, what was I saying? I don't like that they use just the generic, uh... Ouch. They, they use the generic Bowser theme for this fight, and it just sounds really lame. Which is also really lame is just these dudes. I like if he throws an egg at him, and he, like, poops it out just to throw it at him. Uh, jump... on... Bowser. Okay, still got 2 HP left. God darn it. Uh, let's see if... I can gulp him. I don't think I can? Oh, he can! Okay, so we could have used blue this entire time. Oh! And he just falls down. This actually would have been a good uh, time to use timeout now that I think about it. But whatever, we didn't need it. We got 15 star points and a level up -o. Level up -o. I don't know. Open that up and get ourselves some good old FP. Mario became a bully, a bully, a bealist star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. So not only are we getting more powerful, we also get like more stuff happening on stage. So like there'll be more uh, flashier backgrounds and they'll also have a lot more events happen on stage besides people just throwing stuff at me. Grrr. Ooh, that's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some nut ambushes him. Tough, you're too tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone, see ya! Okay, that makes me feel a bit better now. And, like, considering we only got 15 star points from Bowser, I wonder how much we would have gotten from the Armored Harriers. Probably not all that much. Got 13 coins, though, which is nice, and our ranking rose to 5 already, jeez. You'll excuse me, I'll be on my way now. Wow. That was the king of the Koopas, wasn't it? Wow! That guy's insane! Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, that's taken care of. I wonder if he would have had something to say if we beaten the Armored Harriers. I don't think so. I'll have to look it up then. 
Uh, but yeah, what are we doing now? Uh, rank matches. We got full heal, right? Excuse me. Yes, we did. Okay. Let's go! Not waste any more time. Uh, boy, howdy, Gonzales fix for a fight. Up next is gonna be rank four on the glitz pit, the Crow Daddy. Uh, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them. their special moves. Okay. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. So, can't use any special moves. It's fine by me because I don't really use them, but I can still use FP, right? Hopefully. I don't know how I'm standing on this, but whatever. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your match. Come with me. Not completely nice with us, but whatever. Well, I guess that, yeah, that's nice. I don't know. It's just like, I was expecting a sir. Maybe I should be more assertive to have him say that to me. Now it's this guy. It's like a powered up version of Gus from the beginning of the game. For next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the dark gatekeeper. Yep, I fight to the finish with Crow Daddy. Let me at him! Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. It's a wrestling match, bruh. Battle! Okay, let's see what we got in here. Don't use special moves. Okay, so I can use FP, right? I guess we could talk about other stuff that's happened. Uh, E3 happened of 2019, so I can talk about that now. Even though this LP started in 2018. The power of hiatus is... Yay. Um, yeah, E3 was a thing. It was actually pretty good, all things considered. I was kind of going into it with very low expectations because of... Um of Sony not being there and everything like that it just seemed kind of underwhelming but I don't know I always watch the Xbox conference with the mindset of it being uh, Xbox and I forgot to do title for him okay um switch to oh hey he's actually gonna give us an HP sucker go ahead and take that or HP drain not earthbound excuse me uh, switch to Cambella this guy I think is exclusive to the glitz pit so I'm glad I have her out here now and she didn't get healed do I have to have her out in the party to... That's weird. That's a weird design choice. Okay, um... But yeah, I was expecting E3 to be very underwhelming. Okay, whatever. That's a dark craw! Yikes, what a ghastly looking spear thrower! Actually, if he's 20, attack is 6, and defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it even if its spear is pointing up, because that would hurt. For a run-of-the-mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. Haha. <laughs> Hilarious. Now, we'll switch back to... A blue, da boo dee da boo da And, hello. That's one of the things that can happen now on this new stage. Enemies could just pop up and create fog, so now both of us will sometimes miss, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's see what we got, though. Can we take him out? There you go. As I was trying to say a million second times, E3 was pretty good. I like Square Enix and Nintendo's the most. Um, I'm... I went ahead and made a reaction video to the two Smash reveals because I, don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. I actually recorded the entirety of uh, E3 for Nintendo, but I just didn't think it was entirely entertaining for me to commentate it over. Uh, just the two highlights I just wanted to show off. I have zero experience with Dragon Quest, so I just don't really care for the hero, and I feel like he's super underwhelming compared to like the other uh, characters we could have gotten, like Sora or Geno from Square Enix. And then... Uh, for Banjo-Kazooie, I lost my marbles. Gonzalez, sounds like another male, huh? Who the fruit says another male? Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion from X. Old X dude surfaced again. We gotta go to some phone booth outside now? Where was that thing? Ah, uh, we'll find it. Let's head outside. First, we need to go ahead and heal, and we'll need to, like, switch between all the party members, apparently. Give me a second. Why does she have full HP now? What? Okay, game, do whatever the fruit you want to do. I don't understand you. Uh, let's head out here. And hello. Gonzalez. Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're going to enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash, if you value your puny life. <laughs> you... 
You better keep walking, you punk chicken. You hear me talking? Hey, wait, I wonder. You think that idiot sent us that hate mail? Guess it doesn't matter. Somebody hates us, so we better watch our steps. I remember just being very underwhelmed with this chapter when I first went into it because it was just battle, 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 eh, 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 eh. I just do not care for it at all. And I know I'm not gonna make people upset, but like I can't stand wrestling in general because it's just like it's super lame and the acting is awful in my opinion. But um, yeah, it's just really stinking lame and I don't care for it in the slightest. But uh, this part when everything gets all mysterious and like spooky, like I was genuinely concerned for what the heck was gonna happen. So definitely picked up in the second half, which I'm very excited about. Uh, jump on the Yoshi, head on over here. Let's get ourselves another wiener while we're out here. Oh, that customer, oh, yes, that egg hatched from the naughty egg. I guess it's a good idea to cook it. Uh, now you have a hoggle, hot the dog, and only 10 to coins, which for one. I don't know what kind of voice he's getting, but whatever. Let's get one more wiener for the road. Okay, we're good. Run on over here, and in the phone booth is a key. Storage key, a key that opens the storage room to the door to the glitz pit. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office, from X. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude is really cheesing me off. I remember I used to say that all the time as a kid, is you're cheesing me off, man. It was like, seemed funny and stuff, except not really. Uh, but yeah, other than Smash stuff at E3, what was I excited about? I'm excited for No More Heroes 3 only because I really hope that means we're going to get 1 and 2 ported to the Switch because I I told the story before, like I've been holding off on getting my 99th and 100th Wii game just because I think we're going to get No More Heroes 1 and 2 on Switch, so I'm just holding out on that. Oh! Oh, I know we could talk about the highlight of E3, the only thing that matters, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I would have made an entire video on that, so I guess I shouldn't talk about it too much, but my god. I'm excited for Rehydrated, and you could bet your biscuits that I'll be redoing that Let's Play in the new Rehydrated version. I can't believe I just said bet your biscuits, and hello, speaking of biscuits. Oh, <laughs> we meet again, you husky mustache hunk, you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung with crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been mugging about in here. Well, whatever, lady. But you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> And now, we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous. Only you get it? I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. Life has many doors, Ed boys! You should be very careful, unless you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Well, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. Hey, but what do you think she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic from X. The staircase switch? How the heck could there be a staircase in here? Hmm, maybe it's hidden under the floorboards. That would have been a lot better if it worked for the first try, but no, there's a star piece. Uh, but yeah, I think you need to switch to Flurry? Hello, Flurry, I haven't seen you in a while. I think you can blow away all the boxes in this area. Yes, you can. I like how just because these things have paper on them, or just like a different design, you can't break them with your hammer. But if you take off the design, I guess it's supposed to be like metal or whatever, but like you blew away metal, so couldn't we blow away like blocks as well? I don't know. Whatever. Let's break this thing. We got ourselves a charge partner badge. Add the charge to your partner's tactics menu. So basically Goombario's ability that was exclusive to him is now just a badge item. So he's not special in the slightest. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, and these two because I'm OCD a little bit about getting all the blacks. And that magically happens, okay. 
Get on up here. And a shine spray. Very, very nice. How many we got? We got two of them. Okay, so we couldn't have even gone back to Rogueport to upgrade blue. Good to know. Uh, anything else over here? I don't think we can blow off those posters or if there's actually any point to that. It's right over here. Got this. We can break. And there's a hole in the ground. That's disturbing. Uh, right over, excuse me, right over here to get the badge. Probably also use coops, but we got it that way. That's nice. Door over there was locked, so there's no point in going over there. Guess we're going down. Maybe not a good idea to ground bound into a mysterious hole because you don't know what's at the bottom, but we're in the air vent, it seems. Huh. Uh, that might be our ticket out of here once we use the paper thin ability, but what's over here, I wonder? So, you didn't find hide nor hair of nobody in the storage room. That what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba. It appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. It's kind of funny that she says that and we found Miss Mouse in there. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the by, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on our roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any official connection to KP Pete, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Ooh, fighters have been sure going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in tarnation's going on? I even heard some security idiot just saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellows that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out that we're missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no sorry. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a darn fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Um, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, didn't mean to pry. Now, how about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Stars, by any chance? N no, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, if this ain't a fine how-do-you-do, seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got round here. Whoa, Gonzalez! Whoa! Did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude! That ain't cool! Was that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. What in the hay? Darn ceiling is spooking me! Hey, somebody up in there! Squeak, meow, belch. Well, jeez, I wonder which one I'm gonna pick. Uh. Ooh, Nelly! Just a little burping beetle. Here I am thinking someone's up in there peeping. I gotta relax. Take some yoga classes or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. Whoa. Whoa, man. We touched a bullet there. Hey, but did you hear that guy blabbing about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before somebody finds us up here. Well, only one way out. Where's this lead exactly? Uh, back here. How convenient. Uh, is that supposed to be the vent we were just in? I never really understood what that was. I guess it's like an airman, but just looks weird. I thought that was gonna be the staircase. It was gonna like unfold or whatever, but no. Guess we're gonna head back. And I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're gonna continue our trek through the Major League and possibly uncover more and more secrets of what the heck is going on with these missing fighters. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.